Hello YouTube, welcome to the Chopping Block. Today I'm continuing uh, going through the Ohio Classic Knife Show, visiting different tables and showing some custom knives. And today we have Joe from JFF Customs and he is going to take us through a few of his knife designs. Take it away, Joe. <laughs> No, oh, just talk about your whatever you yeah, knives. Let's let's sizing. look at this. What's the, what's your knife steel on that? Okay. This one is N690. It's manufactured in Austria. Oh. It's similar to CPM 154. It uh, is a stainless steel. The handle is Karenite. Black ice. That's really nice. With a uh, blue G10 liner. Very nicely done. And this is a hunter style knife. So it's a full flat grind. Full flat grind. Yes. It's a. This one is. Let's check and make sure. 59 RC. Done by Peter's Heat Treat. Great. Leather sheath. Leather sheath made by handmade by my wife Leslie. Very nice. Good. Cool. I have a Nusmec, Nusmec style. It's an older pattern of a blade. Yes. And uh, it's AEBL stainless. It was originally manufactured for razor blades and surgical equipment. It takes a very fine edge, but it's not real hard to sharpen. Uh -huh. And this has got a stabilized maple with G10 green liners on it. Well, that's really, and, uh, it really pops. It's a nice, nice color combination. So, yeah, it's an older style. It's a Skinner. You can use Skinner. You can use, it's an all-around kind of knife. Sure. Nice. Okay. We'll move on down a little bit more here. What about these? What can you tell me about these right okay. here? Okay. These are actually made out of uh, barrier files uh, for horseshoe. The, the profession is horseshoeing. Sure. It's a used file, and I take and grind the extra, grind the teeth off so they're not sharp and protruding any longer. Just leave the pattern in there. Right. We leave the pattern. We got a hand made, uh, hand file work on the back on the spine. It is a uh, desert ironwood handle with 416 stainless holsters, and this was annealed and then reheat treated to 58 RC. Very nice. Well, you do nice work on those. That also comes with a handmade sheath. And uh, nice. my wife Leslie is starting with some leather carving on her sheaths. They haven't all been put in. She's still working on coming up with her own style. But she does a real nice a, job on yeah, those. Yeah, she's doing a very nice job on those. <coughs> nice quality leather, thick stitching, good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Well, thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. And um, I think we're going to move on down here to uh, to another table. And we are at the Omega Blades. And this is Alan Blackwood, who's going to go through some of his custom knives that he's got. What let's just know? let's just start over here, Alan. Okay. I don't do the sheaths. Those are made for me by B and E down in Galvalis, Ohio. Okay. Uh, the knives, most of the knives on the table are going to be D3 tool steel. Uh, the ones that are not are going to be 1095 high carbon steel. Uh, handles range from black canvas micarta, brown canvas micarta, rosewood, coca bolo. Uh, let's see, there's some black wood, snake wood on that one. Nice one. This one right here? This one right here. Snake wood? Mm-hmm. Very nice. Mm, let's see. Let's move on Edge down. Apple. Black wood. Almost a play on the name, but that one came from South Africa. Central Africa, anyway. This is black wood. My canvas. Uh, that's about it as far as exotic wood goes. 
got some uh, pretty big beefy knives here as far as <laughs> size goes. Yeah, that's uh, my interpretation of the uh, colonial period's long hunger. Uh, it's really too thick to be authentic, but uh, it's close enough to reenactors uh, like the coffin and bowie handle. And this place, it's impressive. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. This is a takeoff on the Viking Scramasacks. They were making the this style of point long before Mr. Wunkliff ever showed up in the city. Ah. They do file work on the tang. It's really nice. Serves as uh, grip enhancement, but it's mostly eye candy. Sure. Well, you do very nice work. Good detail on them. Uh, I thank you for your time. Mm -hmm. And um, again, this was Alan from uh, Omega Blades, and uh, I'll put the descriptions in the in the description box. Okay. Thank Let's you see. for watching YouTube, and I'll see you on the next one.